and Dave Chappelle shouted from across the other side of the room, He's dead, you fools! And we fell about the place laughing. It was the same evening that I met Kanye West for the first time. Our friendship would develop into a lifelong, almost family bond. He introduced me to crab sticks, scotch eggs and Branston pickle, which was a great accompaniment for an options hot chocolate. Kanye's favourite was the mint flavour. <laughs> Hi everybody. If you've not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button right now. If you've not hit that like button, why don't you press it? If you're not enjoying these videos for whatever reason, hit that dislike button. It all helps the algorithm. So the joke's on you, haters. Enjoy the video. <laughs> oh, that was the time, Louis, remember? Kanye pulled my pants down. for my what insurance? Your life insurance. Oh, I don't have any life insurance. You don't have a life insurance? No. And uh, are you covered for your funeral? No, I'm not. I don't need to worry about that so much. Okay, so you don't intend about your funeral cover and you don't have a life insurance by the way? No, no. Alright, so have you ever take out like a thing to take out the cover for the life insurance or something else like that? No, no. Okay, pretty sure yeah. that's fine. It's Chris. Thank you. Okay. What? Sorry. <clears throat> Is that alright? I'll leave the door open. Is that alright? No. So wait, give me a review out of five. Absolutely zero. I'm still in the establishment and I still give it a zero. It's the worst I've ever seen. Probably the worst hotel I've ever seen. That's unfair. I don't think so, mate. Tell you what, absolute godsend bringing this. Do you know what I've just witnessed? All right. A twelve pound breakfast consisting of this poor instant porridge. A scrambled egg, swimming in its own juices. Three types of fruit, prunes, orange, grapefruit, tinned. And on top of that, I don't, I don't know if I can say it. Watered down from concentrate, orange juice. But the kicker, the creme de la creme. I still can't even get my head around it, mate, if I'm honest. <sighs> Instant coffee. No other options of coffee available. Instant coffee. If I was a cyclist and I was stopping in this hotel getting ready for a race and they had instant coffee, do you know what I'd do? I'd burn the place down, mate. Burn it to the ground. It's getting zero out of five stars for me, this place. But on the plus side, lots of pensioners. Great, if you're into that. I know I am. So that is why I'm going to give it half a star. All right? Purely for the guests, not because of the establishment. <laughs> We're in Atherston, stage three, it's a time trial, 16 kilometers in length. But I'm here asking the important questions. Which of my four bells is your favorite? 
Big boy's here. Rate my bell, sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favourite? Uh, I like this one. I like this one. It's good, isn't it? What? I like that one. There we go. Join us again next time for Rate My Bell. Like and subscribe. <sighs> hey up. My van's here. Go in, man. I need toilet first. So, uh, what are you doing right now then? Well, I'm just wandering the streets. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of Atherston. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That underbite's going on a trooper, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I think that might be what's happening. Underbite? Yeah, because I'm, I'm... Oh, is it an overbite? What's this? That's an overbite, I think, isn't it? Yeah, that's where your top's over. Uh, I can feel like two teeth that are touching that I've never, that I've never touched before. Right back. All and right. I, think about, I don't know if it's stress related or what. Answers, like. answers below, I suppose. Right? Yeah, leave your comments down below on that one. That's. Uh, ah. I really don't know. Shall we find some women to touch me now? Bells. Yeah. Right, let's find some ladies. What? Tell you what, mate. You can f off. Absolute. Hey, sorry for bugging you, mate. Is it alright if I get a signature for you? Are you good? Good. so much people. Favourite part? Let's say the beginning. Good day today, Chris. Oh, do you know what? Fantastic day. It's all been right. absolutely phenomenal. I've enjoyed every minute of it. It's been pretty difficult, though, because because they've been doing a time trial and not a, a like a, a mass start event such a pro they've all been going off at different times so it's been really difficult to, to ma manage you know actually get into them and interviewing them and doing what we wanted to do with them a lot of them think i'm a bit of a weirdo though and the weather's been nice the weather's been beautiful hasn't it mm. i might have even burned you all right um, I hope he just thought I'm not going to tell him that. I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> Dilly that. <laughs> Dilly that. <laughs> How are you doing, Chris? I'm, um, trying to fix faulty goods supplied to us from Tesco. Um, today we're going to play a game of what's in the box with the professional riders. And what's in the box is simple. Bag of nuts or a hairy Mary spider. What's your thoughts on the South Tennessee? Sea? Well, do you want me to be honest or do you want me to lie? Uh, a bit of both, a bit of both. Oh, it's lovely. If it's not Yorkshire, mate, I don't care. This date. Andy, you're our, uh, you're our guinea pig. I, well, I can, one, I can see what's inside. You're not here. supposed to look in it, bed. Andy, please play what's in the box. Don't look. Look at me. Make direct eye contact with me and slip your fingers into the box, please. Oh. Wait, is that what I think it is? <laughs> yeah. That's bigger than what it was last time. I know, it's thicker as well, right? Yeah, it's a little bit cold. Do I need to pull any? Don't pull it out. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's got like a nice, that's a nice weight. So, we've had enough food now. Hands out. So, that's wet. <laughs> <laughs> that's in the box. Uh, pass on. Definitely. Uh, take a... Sniff your fingers. Don't. Jeez. You need a shower. <laughs> yeah, there's common bear or something like that. Common bear? Nailed it. Uh, cuddly toy. Definitely a cuddly toy. 
and Harry Ball, maybe. You're <laughs> nuts. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box, pal? Everyone's favourite game, seven. Oh, it's got a head in it. What's in the box? Oh, yeah. Let's him out. Hello everybody, you join me here in wonderful shoeberiness. And did you know, a little known fact, or unknown fact in fact, pampas grass was a symbol that people were swingers. If they held it, what? No, no one said up. Hello everybody, little known fact. No, again, nobody said anything. Little known fact everybody. What's that Chris? See this, pampas grass. Yeah. People used to put it outside the house back in the 90s as a little uh, a little nod. Morning! It was a little nod to uh, to swingers to let them know they were swingers. They... <laughs> Cheers and shouting as our video of us walk down so we will make even more noise than that. Got a toy spider, we some uh, walnuts, and some patrons. <laughs> 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 Finishing South End on sea. It's nice there, isn't it? Oh, mate, it's stunning. It's really beautiful. Majestic, some might say. Do you want to do a transition? Transition. Don't you know it's true? Girl, there's no one else for you. Oh yeah. DSM was first across the line of the head of a massive bird sprint. Thank you.